What it do, man? It's your boy, Battle Truth, coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. So I'm by, <laughs> this dude going to drop how to make money, how I made money off my van. <laughs> $100,000 from my van in one year. Dog, man, get up out of here with that trash. Man, ain't nobody want to hear that trash. Yeah, I told y'all I was going to drop some videos on how I made $100,000 in one year off my van and company. So you made $100,000 in one year off a of van. And this what you was doing before you raped all them women. So let me get this right. You will work for the white man but you will rape the black woman. So you faithful when it comes to working for them white folks and getting your money up. You do everything by the book to make sure that you in right standing with these white folks and getting it up, huh? Yeah, you got your LLC and you then went out and got contracted by these white companies and things like that who have no idea who you are. And you go out on the road and you showing how you made your 100000 Did You know what they need to do? They need to look at every city you went to riding in that truck and make pictures of your truck and put it on milk cartons and coffee mugs. And they need to say, have y'all seen this truck? Have you saw this guy who ride this truck? If he did anything to you, Please call 1-800-GET-YOUR-HANDS-OFF-ME. Or call the other number if you can't get to that one. 1-800-HE-DID-IT. That's what you should do. Don't nobody want to hear about how you started a rape -a man van company. Don't nobody care about that. You know what we want to know? What possessed you to do that to them women? What possessed you to do that like? What did you wake up one day just with the urge to want to take something? Could you tell us that? Tell us how you pimped your ride. Yeah, show us that. Tell us that. Tell us how you took that 18 uh, 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 Raper Man assault vehicle, that 18 assault vehicle, and how you souped it up that it was able to sense from a radar and heat measurings inside of it. Women for you. How you trained it to know your desires. Tell us how you souped your car up and cut yourself and opened up the, the oil and gas tank and leaked your blood inside of it. So the car is also part of you too. So you in the car raping. The car know your desires and know your feelings and emotions because you didn't mix your blood in the oil and gas and antifreeze. Now the car know exactly what you thinking, you feeling, and know when you want some. It automatically cut itself on. It's programmed to call your phone. It check your heart rate when you arouse and know when you're uh, drilling and pumping. His car talked to him like Knight Rider and Kit. You know, remember Knight Rider, Michael and Kit? That's how his Raper Man vehicle talked to him. It'd be like, good evening, Chris. I'm cutting on the AC because I'm sensing that you're a little hot because you aroused. We're going to go down to the Hollywood Strip or the Las Vegas Strip. Whichever one you choose, you want to choose from this evening. And we're going to see if we can find some women inebriated who we can get inside this car. Would that be okay with you, Chris? <laughs> he putting the seatbelt on like, yeah, that'd be okay. And while you at it, could you stop around by McDonald's since R. Kelly locked up? He don't be there no more, so... Is this somehow you can fit that into our schedule where that could be a part of our route? 
should, Chris. I'm already way ahead of you. I've already put that inside of my GPS. There's many McDonald's around in this area. However, not too many miners is out really at this time. That McDonald's closed at an early age, at an early time now. So we're going to go down to the club. It's almost three o'clock in the morning. The club will be letting out. I'm pretty sure there's some women who's going to be inebriated. Would you like that, Chris? Sure. I like that. So I'm going to put this on automatic drive while I get my Jack the Ripper jacket. While I get my butterfly knives. While I get my, what's that stuff that they put on the rag that they, they, they put the wet stuff on the rag you see in movies and then they put it up to people's mouth and make them faint and fall out. Ain't that the stuff that killed Michael Jackson and Prince type stuff? Well, whatever that is, he go get that. He put on his Robin mask. Yeah. Linda's son be doing that. Chris, I'm sensing there's a woman somewhere around here. 140 pounds. A white woman, 140 pounds. Brunette. And she appeared to, she appeared to be inebriated. Should we pick her up? No, 140. Can we find something a little lighter than that? Sure. Right around the corner, Chris, on Maple Road. We also sensing from my <laughs> my radar senses senses that there's an African American woman, 115 pounds. Somebody's baby mother. Should we go? Should we? <laughs> should we bend the corner on that, Chris? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. All right. Make sure your seatbelt is on, Chris. <laughs> Pulling up on her right now. Shall I put the car in reverse and should I let the gas out to? <laughs> should I make the exhaust system let out the poison and gas so that she can fall out now? He putting the gas mask on. Yeah, let me get my mask first. Okay, Chris. <laughs> show, show us how you soup your damn raper man truck up to know how to know when you horny. To, to know when you're ready to take something. Show that part. I don't want to, I don't want to see you in your strength. Show us in your weakness when you can't help yourself. Show us that part of your life. Talk about. Let me show y'all how I made a hundred thousand dollars off the truck. That's what they do. You know when they catch them cases and they fighting them cases and they finna go to prison for a long time. They trying to show the judge that. No, y'all should keep him out because he is attributing to the community. He actually got a good job. He actually is a tax a taxpayer. He done made a hundred thousand dollars a year. So, you know, I I I'm I'm just saying, y'all, your honor, could you at least consider that when sentencing him? Yeah, I'm gonna consider that. I'm gonna consider he should have been doing it before he raped them women. I'm going to consider that that stuff don't mean nothing to me because I know why you're doing it because you think you're going to get less time. I'm considering giving you the electric chair. That's what I'm considering, that you should get the electric chair. So I'm going to give you life since I can't give you the electric chair. That's what I was considering. I want to hear about this dude always trying to pimp niggas in a battle rap community. Try to act like he sane. Try to act like he a he a he a, a outstanding citizen. Trying to act like this dude is actually really man. Please, bro, you raped four women. No matter how you look at it, no matter what you say, you raped four women. One white, two black, one Hispanic. Don't matter about them. nothing you say, bro. That's what you did. So why you sitting up here trying to act like you got it all together? You sitting up here trying to act like you really, really an honest man, an honest working man, trying to make an honest living? Man, everything you doing is a setup. Everything you do got a motive and agenda to it. 
You raped them girls at the same time was married and had your own business going on and you were successful. You were taking that money, using it to your advantage only so that you could rape them women. That's what you was doing, bro. That's what you was doing. We don't care about how much money you made. When you, when you so-called raping women, you ain't got no game. You ain't got no game to even get a woman. You got to rape women to get some. So come on, get up out of here, dog. Where was your game at before you raped them women? Why you wasn't showing all that money before you raped them women? That's what his lawyer said. His lawyer said that they had consensual sex. The women just got mad when he refused to pay them. Why would you refuse to pay them if you so-called buffed them already and they fulfilled they side up, they part of the bargain. Why? Because you raped them. That's why. That's why. That's how reckless this dude is. And we supposed to believe you some stand up dude, this outstanding citizen. Man, I don't care if you made a million dollars off that van. You're going to prison. You raped those girls. And in the process of raping those girls, Guess what? Justice is going to be served. You've been going to court every month faithfully for the past six months, literally. He got court coming up this month too. Yep, I'm going to keep on saying it. And with that being said, you're running out of time, brother. You're running out of time. Nobody cares. So you and your little 18 assault vehicle, show that van. Why he can't show that van that he raped them women in? You know why? Because it's used as evidence. It's impounded. It's used as criminal evidence. He can't show that van. They took it under police custody. Because it's used as evidence against him. So he can't show that. Show that truck. That truck, they took that truck and they put it on a lie detector test. <laughs> they interrogated that truck. Like, yes. <laughs> you know what he called? You know what he <laughs> You know what he called? You know what he called his truck? He called his truck. He called his truck James Kelly. That's the name of his truck. His night rider truck that talked to him is called James Kelly. Mixed with Rick James and R. Kelly. That's what it mean. <laughs> Them detectives came in there like, James Kelly, is it? Yes, detective. How did you learn how to talk, James Kelly? My owner, my owner slid his wrist and opened up my oil and antifreeze and oil tank and dripped his blood and dripped his blood in me. So do you believe you credible to speak on how you were thinking and feeling? Yes, detective, I am. <laughs> Did he want to rape them girls? Of course, detective. How do you know? My radar sensor peaked up Picked up, picked up his horniness. <laughs> well, when was he horny, James Kelly? <laughs> I believe it was, I believe it was July 17th and July 18th. Around 9 o'clock p.m. between 9 o'clock p.m. In 11.30 p.m. Just before midnight a.m. <laughs> my motions. <laughs> my motions and heat. The, <laughs> my motion and heat. <laughs> and heat says. Heat says. <laughs> heat says. Picked up his horn. <laughs> picked up his horniness. And then what he do James Kelly. I started the car up because he programmed me that when he's horny to wake him up. I started the car up and I clicked the button to call him own star. I, I own starred him. <laughs> I 
I own stardom. You say you own stardom? Yes. I own <laughs> I own stardom. <laughs> then what happened? He came to the car. Once he got in, I cut the heat on. I mean, I cut the AC on because I noticed he was horny. And usually when he's horny, he want to have sex right away. Since I wasn't able to pick anybody up, <laughs> I cut the AC on to calm down his his perverse. <laughs> I calmed down his perversion. Then what happened? So I asked him, did he want to hit the Hollywood strip or the Las Vegas strip? Whichever one he chose. But he chose to hit the nightclub to find someone inebriated. He liked to take advantage of women under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Do you know what women he prefer? Usually someone anywhere between, between five foot two inches and under. Anywhere between... 115 to 90 pounds. You like him small, huh? Very small. He's a Navy SEAL. <laughs> he a Navy SEAL. He was trained in the military. He know how to snap necks, break arm, pull hair, choke women. So what happened then? Well, he asked me to cut the exhaust on that the poisonous gases from my exhaust system would knock the women unconscious while he get out of the car, scoop them up, and put them inside the ride. Then what he would do? Then he had installed in me handcuffed leg, handcuffs and leg bracelets. <laughs> that when women up inside us, that when women up inside me, all I have to do is hit the arrest button. The who? The arrest button. There's an arrest button that he had built inside me. That when you hit it, who's ever in the passenger seat or the back seat, they automatically become bondage and chained. Do you have any recordings of the rape? James Kelly, do you have any recording of the rapes? <laughs> Jane Kelly, do you have any recordings of the rape? I'm sorry, sir. This is why I plead the fifth. You can't plead the fifth right now in the middle of a, <laughs> a really, <laughs> really of us interviewing you. I went to seek a lawyer. I went to seek a lawyer, detective. <laughs> Tell us that part. <laughs> Tell us about your raper man truck that the police took that be crying all the time. They say that truck be crying all the time doing uh and impounded by the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't like some of my guys said that they saw that truck, man. Going down and pick up some of their property. It it say don't it cried so much the damn horn don't work no more. Yeah, it cried itself so it cried so much the horn don't even work. It cried so much, the windshield wiper broke. Yeah. That car was artificially intelligent created. He had that car souped up. It, it ran off his feelings. It ran off his feelings. It didn't run off gas. It ran off his perversionness. And the more hornier he got, the faster it drove. Yeah, I'm just keeping it real. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. If it ain't my judgment, that's the question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth.